It is a matter of taking off the pressure as best we can so our ecosystems can bounce back. Jeff has shed some light on one way in which we are already doing that as a society. From the point of view of here in Victoria, um, Port Phillip without question is healthier than it was 50 years ago. And there's been a huge amount of work to build artificial wetlands and you know if people think that uh, you know those lakes in the middle of new housing develops they think that that's there for their pleasure but reality is that's there to catch all the rubbish that and, and all the stuff that's washed off the streets where they live and then every decade or so they've got to be cleaned out and taken to toxic landfill and the reality is that almost every part of our life on the land ends up affecting the, the coastal marine environment. That's the reality of it. Even if you live up in the Dandenongs that eventually comes all the way down onto, either into Port Phillip or into Western Port. And um, the more we can deal with thinking about those terms, you know, we, we've all got some sort of grate in our property. Either the, our drive goes down onto the road or we've got a grate if our drive goes that way. And that just goes into the system straight out into the bay. So we can get more stormwater litter traps, which are a big part of changing the system. And we can, we can be, but we can also be more careful. It's one of our wonderful graduate students who's probably been a mentor to me, has taught me a lot. And Marty always used to say, it's better to get a whole lot of people doing things imperfectly than to get a whole lot of really, really switched on people just doing stuff perfectly. So it's all about little changes together because we're all part, a little part of the problem.